CataractCoach.com. Cataract quiz. Why did this happen? And we need your help. Acute bilateral white cataracts, coronal edema, hypotony. Why? And this case is from my friend, Dr. Mohammed Zayed. And he has this patient here, right eye pre-op. Look at that. Shallow AC, hypotenuse, coronal edema. Pressure is almost zero. And here are the cases that he's going to do now. It's white cataracts in both eyes, intumescent. You can see, look at the endothelial cells. Patient does have keratoconus too. If you read below here, we have a full description. And this is obviously a very tough case to do. In this eye with the AC so shallow, corneal edema there, so the view is kind of limited. A little viscoelastic on the cornea can help. Now we're going to show the video here, both eyes doing cataract surgery. It's pretty much routine and unedited. But the mystery is, why did this patient have this? Now, we'll go over the whole history here coming up in just a moment, but maybe it's some sort of toxic insult is what I could think is most likely. And because of that toxic insult, it affected both eyes, endothelium, ciliary body, and the cataracts. I mean, all happened pretty quickly in a 49-year-old who was getting some weird intravenous treatment of unknown medications from a homeopath or alternative medicine clinic. That may be the major major clue here. So here's the rest of the history. So here are the key findings in this tough case. We've got a 49-year-old female, history of keratoconus, systemically compensated primary biliary cirrhosis on Eurosfalk and Carvedilol. There's a history, though, of unsupervised off-label mystery IV homeopathic treatments with alternative medicine clinics. Here are the sequence of events. So first prescribed dexamethasone, levofloxacin eye drops for four weeks before planning intracorneal ring segments. Patient then had sudden bilateral vision loss, pain, and photophobia. Exam showed bilateral acute intumescent white cataracts, shallow anterior chamber, hypotony, corneal edema. B-scan was clear vitreous. UBM showed phacomorphic-like, no ciliary body rotation. Intense fibrinous reaction resolved with oral but not topical steroids. So cataract surgery was performed with difficult view, which you see here being done. There was some rex extension, but normal IOL position. Post-op persistent hypotony, coronal edema, and photophobia. So let's talk about this. Now, what are the differential diagnosis and pathophysiologic considerations? One is idiosyncratic reaction to topical steroids. Right? The patient had rapid and severe fibrin reaction to topical steroids, but resolution with systemic steroids that's really unusual. I've never heard of that before. So idiosyncratic steroid reactions, right, usually are what? IOP elevation, but rarely they're inflammatory. But if they are, they usually do the preservative vehicle like BAK, benzyl, conium, chloride, etc. Now, the lack of inflammation post-op on oral steroids argues against the classic autoimmune uveitis, but supports the toxicity or hypersensitivity etiology. Now, if something looks like TAS, right, toxic anterior segment syndrome, it's like that phenomenon because it's bilateral, synchronous, rapid course, fibrin, coronal edema, hypotony, pain. It's like a TAS kind of picture, but obviously this predated the surgery and was not associated with intraocular procedures, so it's not TAS. Now, is it possibly triggered by those unregulated IV medications from the homeopathy clinics? Some unknown toxicity or immune-mediated immune response? Maybe. Bilateral, three is number, bilateral phacomorphic response without uveal fusion or ciliary body rotation. It's rare, but the intermittent lens picture suggests osmotic swelling of the lens, probably due to some metabolic derangement, maybe toxic exposure. Could be steroid-induced metabolic lens changes. That's unusual, but maybe theoretically possible. Ciliary body shutdown, toxic cyclitis. That's kind of explains the persistent hypotony even after owl placement of the deep AC. And that's supported by the poor IOP post-op, low pressure there, no leakage or overinflammation. And then there's corneal decompensation, an endothelial insult. So given the previous keratoconus, the endothelium may already be functionally marginal. You could have toxic injury to the endothelium from topical medications or surgical trauma, but those are unlikely. It's probably like this inflammatory milieu. So persistent edema after surgery, decimates fold, it's concerning for some irreversible damage. Now, what else can we look at? Investigative, specular microscopy, if possible, to assess endothelial cell countermorphology, maybe enter segment OCT to evaluate decimates, corneal thickness, iris, ciliary body configuration, repeat the UBM to assess ciliary body function, atrophy or detachment, aqueous tap for cytology or culture, if you suspect any retained toxin or infection, 
toxicology, immun immunology workup, maybe. So what's the working hypothesis? I think it's probably like a bilateral toxic anti-segment insult, maybe multifactorial, and it's probably related to unregulated systemic therapies, those IVs that they're getting, these mystery IV things that, from the homeopathy clinic. They can cause the lens osmotic changes. That's the intermesome white cataract, immune dysregulation, severe body suppression, shutdown and damage to the endothelial cells, maybe. So short term, what do you want to do to, to treat this? Probably continue the systemic steroids. These, they seem more effective than the topical ones. And if you want to do topical steroids, why don't you just do one eye? Like a right eye trial is reasonable. Maybe aggressive hypertonic saline and aqueous suppressants if IOP begins to rise. And if it's really just continued hypotony, severe and persistent, maybe some intracameral viscoelastic. Long term, if the endothelial function does not recover, you maybe look at a DMEC or DSEC. Monitor closely for chronic hypotony, maculopathy, optic nerve damage. This is a tough one. You know, this is a, finally, I think this is an unusually complex case with overlapping issues here. Inflammatory, possibly something toxic, metabolic components. I mean, the central mechanism here seems to be bilateral anterior segment toxicity, maybe drug-induced, with associated ciliary body dysfunction, endothelial compromise. The precise trigger may never be identified, but given all the stuff that's going on, the interplay between the unregulated systemic treatments the top of steroids, the pre-existing pathology of the keratoconus, it's complicated. So, I mean, I'd love to hear your thoughts. What do you think is going on in this very difficult case? Please leave comments below. We need to use the group brain here so we can figure out how to help this patient. Thanks so much. Please leave your comments below.